Hello everyone, how's it going? My name is Sassy and today I'll be showing you how to beat the easter egg, how to build the shield, and how to obtain all the Avengers weapons in the Black Ops 3 Custom Zombies map, Avengers Extinction. First thing you'll need to do is turn on power. Power is found in the top area of the spawn room. Turning on power will give you access to the teleporter, which leads you to Pack Punch. Next you'll need to collect the 6 Infinity Stones. To obtain the green stone, first interact with it. It can be found on the small table across from the Tough Nuff perk. This will cause a lockdown, and you'll need to survive for 3 minutes. Completing the lockdown will cause the green stone to disappear. For the orange stone, you'll first need to teleport to Pack Punch. The orange stone will be on the ground in the center of this area. You will need to collect souls in the stone until it disappears. It does take a lot of souls, so anytime you have a chance, I recommend heading to Pack Punch and getting as many kills as possible. The stone will disappear when you've collected enough souls. For the red stone, you'll need to shoot the four red stones around the map with a pack punched weapon. The stones are located on the trash can not far from Bang Bangs, on the trash can by the fountain across from the last one, on the trash can not far from the Racing Stripes perk, and on the trash can by the car near Building 42. You'll know you've completed this step when the screen turns white and you'll hear this sound. For the purple stone, you'll first need to obtain the Golden Ray Gun. You can either unlock the ray gun in the cheese room and buy it for 5,000 points, or you can get it from the box. To unlock the golden ray gun in the cheese room, first shoot the ants on each of the perk machines with a pack-punched gun. The upgraded Hawkeye's bow also works too. There is one on top of Up and Atoms, one is on top of Bomb Stoppers, one is on Dead Eye Dewdrops, one is on Tough Nuff, one is on Bang Bangs, there's one on Racing Stripes, on Quickies, on Blue Bolts, and one is on Mule Munch. After shooting all nine ants, you'll hear this sound, and you'll now be able to buy the Golden Ray Gun from the Cheese Room for 5,000 points. Next, use the Golden Ray Gun to shoot the four purple stones around the map. They are located on the table at spawn, on the table next to Bomb Stoppers, on the ice cream stand between the fountain and the Bang Bangs Park, and on the ice cream stand by Building 42. You'll know you've shot all purple stones when the screen goes white. For the yellow stone, you'll first need to obtain the scepter from the box. Next, shoot the yellow stones with the scepter as it moves around the map. It will first spawn on the stairs at spawn. It will then spawn randomly in the next four locations. On the table in front of power, on the car by building 42, on the hot dog cart by the fountain, and on the couch in spawn. Shooting it in all five locations will cause the screen to briefly go white and you'll have the yellow stone. For the last stone, you'll need to hit the blue cube in the fountain with Thor's hammer. To get Thor's hammer, you'll first need to feed the three dogs with souls. To get the dog to spawn, first kill a zombie near the dog drawing on the wall. If done correctly, a dog head will spawn in. Then feed the dog zombies until it disappears. The dogs are located to the right of the Up and Atoms perk at spawn, above the Tough Nuff perk, and on Building 42 above the car. When you've completed all three, you'll hear this sound, and a voice will say that only those who are worthy can hold Thor's hammer. You can now pick up Thor's hammer from inside the cheese room. The hammer is similar to Hell's Retriever. Use the hammer to hit the cube inside the fountain. Hitting it will cause it to disappear. Obtaining all six stones will unlock a new Roman spawn, and you can now activate Infinity Ultron. This will start a boss fight, so before you do that, make sure you're ready. For the boss fight, I highly recommend upgrading Hawkeye's bow, so here's how to do that. First thing you'll need to do is buy Hawkeye's bow from the fountain. You will now need to find and shoot the four targets around the map with the bow. They are located above the Bang Bangs Perk, on top of Building 42, through the window by Power, and on the building behind the Spider-Man when you teleport to Pack Punch. Shoot all four targets and you'll hear a voice that tells you that you can now upgrade the bow. Head to the Cheese Room, which you can get by chance when teleporting to Pack Punch, and upgrade the bow. Your bow will now have electric tip arrows. You can also get Hulk's Hand, which is similar to the 1-inch punch. First thing you need to do is pick up the Mark II Gauntlet. You can find it inside the room with power. Next, take the teleporter to Pack Punch and Pack Punch the Gauntlet. Then shoot all four power boxes around the map with the Pack Punch Gauntlet to remove the door on it. They are located in the room with power, on building 42, on the building with all the Spider-Men, and inside the cheese room next to Hulk's Fist. After you shoot all four power boxes with the gauntlet, you will now need to go around and shoot all four again with the upgraded Hawkeye's bow. Unfortunately, they don't seem to give any indication that they've been shot a second time, so you'll have to keep track of this yourself. Once you've shot all four power boxes twice, you'll hear this sound, and a voice will tell you about Hulk's hand. You can now pick up the Hulk's hand inside the cheese room. You can also upgrade the cheese gun. First, you'll need to pick up the cheese gun from the cheese room for a thousand points. You'll then need to shoot all four pieces of cheese around the map with the cheese gun. They are located in the cheese room on the table with Deadpool, 
on the couch in the spawn room, on the table not far from the Bang Bangs Park, and underneath the air ducts on the roof of the Spider-Man. Shoot all four pieces of cheese and you'll hear this sound, and you can now upgrade the cheese gun in the cheese room. While you play, you may want to build the shield, so here's how to do that. In order to build the shield, you'll need to find three parts. One part is on the table at spawn, one is on the table in the power room to the left of the Mark II gauntlet, and one part is located by building 42 on the car. Once you have all three parts, you can build the shield at the build table inside the cheese room. When you're ready to take on the boss, head to the secret room that was opened in the spawn room and activate Infinity Ultron. The boss will spawn in and you'll need to defeat him four times. He's really easy to defeat if you just use the upgraded Hawkeye's bow, as he just takes one shot to kill, so I highly recommend using that. Defeating him each time will reward you with the cashback gobble gum. Shooting him all four times defeats the boss and will end the game. And that's it! I'll be doing more easter egg guys in the future, so subscribe if you're interested, leave me a comment if you have any questions, and don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!